Hi, this is Phil from Octans Lab and I would like to share with you how I balance my refractor with the help of a 3D printed part. So there are a number of ways to balance a telescope on a tracking mount. To start off with, we are going to call this orientation the home position. I prefer to balance around the deck axis first and then balance around the RA axis. Balancing on the deck axis involves rotating the telescope horizontally and then seeing if it is either camera or lens heavy in the case of my refractor. The good thing about having a dew shield on the end is that with the dew shield all the way back it's camera heavy and then you move the dew shield all the way forward and it's nose heavy. So you can use the dew shield as a bit of a, bit of a fine balance instead of moving the whole scope. Balancing the scope on the RA axis, I rotate the telescope so it's pointing up and down and move the counterweight on the RA axis until balance is achieved. After deck and RA balance is complete, we return to the home position and we think we are good to go. However, if we then go hands free, the telescope does not stay still and rotates like it has a mind of its own. Why is this? There's a moment around the deck axis which is causing the telescope to want to rotate this way. So what we need to do is we need to be able to uh, have an offset weight. So it's a moment which is a, it's a force by a distance pointing down this way, acting around uh, the deck axis to basically counteract this. So this is the 3D printed bracket um, I kind of call them outriggers, just slots onto the dovetail mount. These are the individual pieces of the outrigger, so it's a 5 16 inch um, threaded rod which has been attached to uh, the 3D printed bracket in the shape of the dovetail. And then on the left there we have a hex coupler with a 3D uh, printed um, insert and the little guy at the back is a, basically it's a nut to hold the whole thing into place. We can then look at um, balancing the scope. So just disengage these clutches and um, a little bit nose heavy. So we'll just drop that back a little bit. So it's a little bit nose heavy, but it's okay. So that's balanced now. So there's no moment, and then it starts to rotate. With the 3D printed outrigger attached, the telescope can now be rotated to an arbitrary position and it remains stationary.